Hello, Saxon564 here with another IRC scripting tutorial. In the last episode, I went over uh, how to make basic commands using all the triggers, as well as a bit of over on how to do directional commands, like make it so it'll go use any channel on anyone who activates it. And today, we're going to go uh, we're going to go deeper into directional commands so um most of the time directional commands are done with the text and we'll do we'll change that help to attack and then an as a star at the end will allow allow you to accept any input after the trigger input. So for example, we can do Chan Nick attacks and to take the next the next variable in it you just simply do dollar sign two. So when we run that so if we do attack bot the bot bot tutorial says saxon564 attack bot so we'll just add an s on there right now just to make it a bit easier um and then this can be used for anything um if you wanted you could take the third one and if we just did that it would leave three blank but if we add a third third one it would add that so one way to uh, prevent this one from happening where it doesn't give that um actually we'll go over that in a later episode uh, the next episode four. So one, and then this can be used for just about anything. Um, mo. This is about the most basic you can get if you're trying to get get directional uses. Um. Let's see here. So you could you could even go as far as to do that add multiple. So if we just did attack bot, it shows that. Whoops. Attack bot high, it shows the bot high. And then it'll show that. So you can do as many as you want. Um, if you want to have it display them all, you can do that. So, if we do that, um, I don't seem to recall that it would do that before. That's interesting. <laughs> so I guess what it... Uh, the last time I was messing around with this type of thing, it would display all three on there. But I guess now it does a new message for each one. So, yeah. That's... Actually, as much as we could go over for that, um, there's not much else than I that I can think of. Um, the next episode will definitely be a lot longer. We'll, I'll be going over variables, and though they're simple, they're not that easy to use. So. I know it was a short tutorial, but that just means you can get back to 
scripting with this type of thing sooner. So thanks for watching. Bye.